Hey, Jake with the entrepreneur right along.com here and answering a question that I received about how to do local SEO. And that all starts with keywords. So I'm going to use an example here, considering that you are a local small business service based business and you're looking to get more traffic to your online, your, your website it all starts with finding the right keywords that people are searching for. So this can apply to any business, any local business. It's called local SEO. It just simply means adding a geographic layer to your SEO because people are, you know, in your regional geographic area searching for your services. I'm going to use an example of a hair salon in Boston just because I'm in the Boston area and I just picked anything service-based hair salon. I don't know a lot about hair salon, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you go about finding the proper keywords for if you have a hair salon or any local service-based business. So first things first, I am using Longtail Pro. That's my preferred tool here. That's what I use to do my keyword research, and I'll show you why because it's super easy. Uh, you do get a free trial, so go over to the entrepreneur right along oh, this one here, the entrepreneur right along dot com slash longtail pro, all one word. If you go to that, it'll take you to a page. I am an affiliate, so I do get a commission uh, at no extra cost to you. And as an affiliate, I get access to a I think it's a seven day or fourteen day free trial. Uh, that I can give out to anybody. So go ahead, take advantage of that and use that for your keyword research. So long, uh, the entrepreneur right along.com slash long tail pro. And there you go, your seven day free trial. Uh, and you can get 30% off. So go ahead and use that because you can do your keyword research for free, which is uh, one of the best parts of this. So uh, that's the tool that I'm going to use and I'll show you how to start. All you do is you just type in uh, keywords here. So I'm going to start and I'm going to type in, uh, I wish I could type hair. Boston and then hair. Wow, I'm really struggling. Salon Boston. And I'll do hair dresser Boston. So these are seed keywords. It's going to give me 20 suggested keywords and it's going to check and check Google and basically see uh, how many people are searching these terms and it will give me 20 suggested search terms that other people are searching on Google related to hair, Boston, hair salon, Boston, hairdresser, Boston. So I'm going to let that run. It takes a little time to do its work in the background. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to look for more suggestions as to what are people searching. And the best way to do this is just type in your, uh, your main purpose, hair, Boston, hair salon, Boston, uh, so let's say, okay, best hair colorist, Boston Shore. I'm going to, I'm, I'm copying and pasting that copy, paste it over here. Uh, best hair salon, Boston Shore. I'm just looking for what are, I'm using the Google suggested search results to see what other common search terms people are using. And I'm going to get it going on those ones. Uh, let's go hair salons. Let's see what else do we want? Yeah, sure about affordable hair salons. And we go back to my original search and see what else was popping up here. Uh, okay, well, we can start going neighborhoods. So you can do specific neighborhoods in, in Boston. So here's Chinatown. Let's see what else we have. Um, let's see, Boston, we have, uh, yeah, we can do, I was going to do Dorchester, but we can do downtown Boston. We can do Boston, Joe Newberry, Back Bay, Seaport. We can plug any of these. These, these are just neighborhoods in the Boston area. So specifically um, getting even more geographic. I took the city of Boston. I chose that on purpose because it's kind of a competitive space. I wanted to show that even in Boston where there's a ton of hair salons, there's a lot of opportunity. I just have to find the right keywords that people are searching for. One way to do that is get even more specific, your specific street, your specific um, neighborhood. So I'm going to do, let's say, hair salon, Boston, South End. That's even more specific. I'll do hair salon, Boston, State Street. Only because I used to work on State Street, so I know that one. And I'll plug that in, so specific streets there. And then I'll do some other things, maybe, uh, I don't know, hair, colorist, Boston. And I'm going to plug that in and, and that's enough. You can see, you can keep going here. Every specific thing, men's haircut, women's haircut. Um, you know, I can't even think of specific hairstyles, but if you're a barber, you could do a, uh, best high and tight Boston or, uh, best men's shave Boston, best barber Boston, whatever it ends up being. 
every specific service, your location. You can see you can get really specific and just dump everything into Longtail Pro and just uh, see what results come back here. So let's start looking at the results. Some of the stuff you can ignore right away. What we're looking at here is these are the keywords suggested by Longtail Pro. I'm going to go down here and look at 100 suggested keywords. This is the volume. That's how many people on average per month are searching that specific key phrase on Google. And the average KC is the keyword competitiveness. The lower, the better. The lower the score means it is easier to rank your blog, your website on Google for that keyword. So you can see anything highlighted in green here, highlighted in yellow means it's really easy. There's not a lot of competition out there, which surprisingly, there's not a lot of competition for hair colorist Boston. Often because service-based businesses like this don't know SEO. They don't know keywords. They just don't put in the time to put a website up, write a blog about hair colorist Boston and try and rank it. So they are missing out on that traffic. There's a ton of opportunity here for a local SEO, service-based business, local SEO. Uh, so that's why I recommend it to any service-based business. Do this. It's, it's so easy just to put a couple of pages on your website with this keyword. Now, anybody that searches hair color as Boston, you're going to be that number one result. They're going to find you and come to your salon. Uh, so that's the uh, average KC is a score. I, I don't know what the score goes up to, but basically anything 35 or lower is doable. That By doable, I mean it's relatively easy to rank for that keyword on the first page of Google, which is where you want to be. You really want to be in those top three results. That's where most people click. Just think about when you go to Google, you're going to search something. You're probably going to click on the number one, hit the back button, click on the number two, hit the back button, click on the number three. And then, you, yeah, okay, you looked at three options, just pick from one of those. So you want to be in the top three. This average KC column will tell you how easy it is to get uh, in that ranking on Google. So it's still going. I'm going to flip by volume here and start looking for things. You can ignore a lot of this stuff out of the bat, like hair salon, of course, there's a ton of people searching the term hair salon on Google. That's everywhere. That's not local. That's not geographic. All these top ones, best hair products, best hair colors, best hair salon. I don't care about any of that stuff because that's not in Boston. That's not where my market is. Here we go. Hair salon in Boston. 4,400 people searching for that term and a keyword competitiveness score of 31. That is surprisingly low. Actually, I expected that to be a lot higher, uh, but that's great. We know that there's a big chunk of people every single month searching for hair salons in Boston. Now we can find more specific things, even even a lower KC score for uh, things we could put on our website. For example, you could have um, you could write up a blog about the ten best hair salons in Boston. You include yourself on that list, and you write about some of your other friends that have hair salons in Boston. And there, you know, you start writing a blog about the best hair salons in Boston, or based on reviews. And you can put up um, you know ten best hair salons in Boston. And one of yours is included there. Uh, so that's the keywords that you write about. Hair Salon South Boston, again, even better if you're local, you're South Boston specifically, you can write a blog about hair, not even a blog, this is probably your homepage or your services page. That keyword that you're writing about is Hair Salons South Boston. Now, let's see what else we got. Yeah, best hair stylist. I want to look for things that are just Boston specific. Natural Hair Salon Boston. Wow, really low score, 480 people per month searching for that. You can tell almost nobody is writing about that. I'm going to do something a little advanced here. I'm going to click on this. It'll open up a whole nother analysis. It's going to pull up the top 10 people currently ranking on the first page of Google. And it will show you how easy it is to rank on this page, like who you are competing against. So it makes sense. The first two results are Yelp. You are, if you have a service-based business, if you have a hair salon, you are probably already on Yelp. So that's another search algor algorithm you want to take advantage of. But if you scroll down here, you can see uh, this uh, gives a, a ranking against who are the other websites talking about natural hair salon Boston? Um, and again, it's going to give you a, a green or a yellow based on this KC score. The lower, the better. It's saying that these people aren't too competitive. They're using the term. Uh, they're talking about uh, natural hair salon Boston, or they are ranking for that keyword. But actually, what's interesting is almost none of them are talking about the, the, the specific key phrase natural hair salon Boston. If I do a control F here. Natural hair salon. Just to see who's popping up. <laughs> you can see it, it would highlight here if somebody was saying the exact keyword phrase, natural hair salon. That's right, in Boston, natural hair. Yeah, it looks like nobody's using that phrase. Um, or just Yelp is actually. But nobody's using the specific phrase, natural hair salon. 
in Boston, which means that there's a lot of opportunity for if you just use that keyword, you might automatically hit the first page because nobody else is, is writing about that term. If you're specifically a Korean hair salon or you have a hair salon in Chinatown, uh, let's see, yeah, hairdressers Boston, hair extensions Boston, best hair colorist in Boston, hair salon Newberry Street. You can see there's a ton of opportunity here just for a geographic location for a specific service-based business to do local SEO. Uh, so this is how you find keywords. This is as simple as it is to find a bunch of keywords. You can see if I was a hair salon in Boston, I would have tons and tons of things to put on my website, tons of content to add there where I could get a bunch of traffic and then convert that traffic into paying customers. So if you need the next step with SEO, again, go to uh, this Longtail Pro free trial, find your keywords there. I highly recommend you go over to theentrepreneurridealon.com slash traffic. If you go to that, it'll take you to my five part video series where I show you it's a one week challenge to drive 1000 organic website visitors to your website using SEO. It's a quick five part video series. The first video is all about keywords. You already know how to do that. The next videos will show you the next step, how to actually take that keyword, do on page SEO, write your blogs, write your page, actually put that keywords appropriately on the page. And then the next steps are the basic, simple, simple things you'd need to do to utilize SEO to start driving traffic to your website. It is a way simpler than most people make it. It's honestly just find a keyword, uh, put it on your website appropriately with your on-page SEO, do some internal linking, get your friends and other websites to link back to your website to increase your domain authority. And that's it. Then the traffic roll, rolls in and with the keywords and the service-based business and local SEO, it's a lot easier because again, not a lot of people are doing it. So you are, uh, let's say, uh, fishing in an ocean with uh, lots of fish and less fishermen, if that makes sense. So it's just pretty much you out there, um, lots of low hanging fruit to you go for you to go out there, find those keywords and start ranking your website on Google to get more traffic to your website. So that's it. Head over to theentrepreneurridealong.com slash traffic. That will take you to this one week, 1K challenge. So you can drive your first 1,000 website visitors to your website. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Jake from The Entrepreneur Ride Along, and I can't see, can't wait to see you drive more traffic to your website.